boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Bored, Better Off Reading Every Day. Today's book is Hedgehogs and the Hatterpillar. And this book is by Steve Wilson and Lucy Tapper. Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends. There are so many things they like to do together. They like to watch blossoms fall from the trees. They like to look for first star of the night. They like to play hide and seek in the meadow. And on clear nights, they try to catch the moon. When Hattie is busy, Horace climbs to the top of his favorite tree. When Horace is busy, Hattie practices handstand among the dandelions. One day, Horace and Hattie found something interesting under a leaf. It was small and shiny and smooth. All of a sudden, out crawled a wriggly, stringy thing. It looked at Hattie, Horace and Hattie, then it started to eat. In no time at all, the leaf was gone. Horace and Hattie found more leaves. The stringy thing ate and ate. It got bigger and bigger. And bigger and bigger. Then it stopped. It made a soft, silky bed, and then it slept for many days and many nights. One sunny morning, the little bed opened up. Out crawled something beautiful, colorful, and wonderful. It looked at Horace and Hattie, waved its wings and fluttered away. This gave Horace an idea. If they ate a lot and slept in a soft silky bed, would they turn into something colorful and wonderful too? Hattie munched, Horace crunched. They ate until their tummies were full. Mmm, that sounds good. They scooped and gathered and collected flowers until they had a fluffy bed. Horace and Hattie nestled in the petals and drifted off to sleep. When they woke up, Hattie looked at Horace and Horace looked at Hattie. Had they changed? Yes, they were beautiful, colorful, and wonderful, and they could fly. The end, boys and girls, of Hedgehogs and the Hatterpillar by Steve Wilson and Lucy Tepper. It's spring. When these two best friends put their minds to solving a problem, nothing can stand in their way. That's what the back says. Boys and girls, I chose this book because I've done hedgehogs before. I did the hedgehogs way where they actually 
love each other so much, but the one thing they couldn't do was hug each other. So they came up with all kinds of different solutions till they came up with the perfect one. I don't know if you remember that book. You can always go back and watch it. It's called Hedge Hugs and it has the same characters and everything and they figure out how to get the perfect hug from each other because they love each other. So we have Horace, Hattie. Horace, Hattie. There are the two guys. How cute are they? We just love them. Those are our hedgehogs. Boys and girls, I love books like this where they're best friends and they're learning together and they're finding out all kinds of different ways of going to do things. This was one of them. They saw how the caterpillar came to be a butterfly and they thought they could do it. So they came up with their own version. They didn't exactly turn into one, but at least they tried, which is what it's all about. Just trying to do your best, find things out, learn and be the best you and the best friend. It is Miss Reynolds with Ford, better off reading every day. And it was my pleasure to bring this story to you, boys and girls, because I am always trying my best to put a little something up here for you to think about and have you look at a little something to read about and doing my best. Love you guys, and I'll see you at my next reading. Bye, Horace Hattie, Horace Hattie. Bye.